In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called determining whether two functions are inverses of each other. We're given two problems here, A and B. Each has an F function and a G function. And we are asked to find a couple of things. We're asked to find F of G of X. We're asked to find G of F of X. And use that to determine whether F and G are inverses or not. So to start with, I'll work on just finding those composites, starting with A. First, I'll look at f of g of x, and that will involve taking our g of x, which is on the inside, and replacing x in the f function with that g of x. So what does that look like? f of g of x, again, replacing the x in f of x with g of x, means f will be 6 instead of times x, it will be times g of x, which is x over 6. This can then be simplified. These 6s are actually going to cancel, leaving me with just x. So f of g of x is x. I'll now turn to g of f of x. Here I will be taking the f of x function plugging it in to g of x, which means replacing the x in g of x with 6 times x. So g of f of x, we are replacing the x in g with 6x. So this would be 6x over 6. And again here, we can see that the 6s cancel g of f of x equals x. So for both of these composite functions, f of g of x and g of f of x, the result is x. That means the input equals the output. So if you put in 5, you get out 5. That is the definition of inverse functions. And we actually performed the test because for inverse functions, the composites should equal x, or whatever the variable is that we're plugging in. Moving over to B, different functions here, f and g, but again starting with f of g of x, that means we are taking g of x and substituting it in to f. So f of g of x will mean replacing that x in the f function with 2x minus 3. So 2x minus 3 plus 3 over 2. We can simplify this because the minus 3 and plus 3 will cancel to being 2x over 2. And again, that's just x. So our f of g of x is x. Moving to the second question, g of f of x, we are taking the f of x function here and plugging it in to g. So g will now be 2 times x, but x is replaced with the f function, x plus 3 over 2, minus 3. Here we can again simplify. The 2's are going to cancel in this multiplication and division, leaving me with the x plus 3 and a minus 3 on the outside, which again simplifies to x. So our g of f of x is also x. So this is another example where f and g are inverses. And we can think of this for inverses is that one function is undoing the other function. And the result would be x whenever we find the composites 